Good morning, everyone. In this time when so much of what we take for granted is changing, we would like to thank you for journeying with us in faith. Many of us look at All Saints as our spiritual home, a place of worship, certainly, but also where our spiritual needs and are explored and nurtured. The work of the church has not stopped because of COVID-19, but it can only continue if we can work together to ensure that it stays strong and healthy. Your financial support is welcomed and much appreciated through whatever means are convenient for you. Check. Pre-authorized debit. Credit card. Or e-transfer. When this threat has passed, we want to be able to return to our church, knowing that our faith, prayers, and offerings have made this possible. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to our online service here at All Saints Ladner. It is a joy and privilege to have you uh, join us from wherever your corner of the world may be. It is great to have you here in our corner of the world in Ladner, British Columbia. Our morning prayer service on July 5th, tickets are now available through Eventbrite. Uh, so you do get them while they are available. If you have problems logging into Eventbrite online, please do call the parish office and we'll be delighted to help you out. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son that love fulfills the law. May we love you with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. And may we love our neighbor as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God tasted Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and he said, here am I. And he said, take your son, son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah 
and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled up his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offering and set out and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place afar away. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the, bo with the donkey, the boy, and I will go over there. We will worship, and then we will come back to see you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. So the two of them walked together. Isaac said to his father, Father, and he said, Here I am, son. He said, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God himself will provide the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. When they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac, laid him on top of the altar, on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Do not lay your hand on your boy and do not do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son your only son from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. Abraham went and he took the ram, caught in the thicket by its horns, and he offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. As it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have perplexity in my mind and grief in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Look upon me and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed over him. And my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I put my trust in your mercy. My heart is joyful because of your saving help. I will sing to my... I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt with me richly. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of the disciple Truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. The Gospel of Christ. 
This is not child's play that we read about today. The Hebrew Bible is rich with drama and intrigue that would not be suitable for young viewers if this were a movie. And this is certainly not the reading you take into a Sunday school classroom. This text in particular, where we read of how God instructs Abraham to kill his son, his only eldest son. Now make no mistake, if it were to happen, this would be nothing short of murder sanctioned by God. So what kind of God sanctions the murder of the innocent? What is Abraham to do in such a situation? Can he say no to God? Does he dare say no to God? He is a very devout and faithful person himself. And so what does this mean for us in turn? Can we say no to God? Are we able to challenge God? Do we even dare? The narrative ends satisfactorily, of course, with Isaac being spared. But still, this passage leaves us feeling quite unsettled. So what is going on? here in this text. This is, about, this is a passage about deep, radical faithfulness, trust, and sacrifice. This really does have the makings of a good movie. But there is more to it than this. Abraham is challenged by God. And we are talking about two very strong people, God and Abraham, in their own rights. The challenge for Abraham is to address his inner conflicts and loyalties. There have been times, as we have read in the Abraham narrative in earlier chapters, when he doesn't fully trust God. More than once, he passes Sarah, his wife, off as his sister. Twice, she lands in the bedroom of the ruler of the day. Abraham laughs at the absurdity of Sarah conceiving a son. He laughs in the face of God. So now God wants Abraham to trust God with all his hopes and dreams that are wrapped up in his son, his only son, Isaac. From this experience, something changes between these two incredibly strong people. God learns of Abraham's fear of God, and Abraham learns to trust God, and God proves that God can be trusted, although it's a hell of a test, if you ask me. But this is not without consequences. In the end, God's commitment to fulfilling God's promise to Abraham would end up costing God dearly. Abraham's son Isaac is spared this time. Much later, God gives up God's son, God's only son, to death. This fulfills what God started in Abraham. And so we too learn to be in awe and fear of God's presence. We learn the bounty and provisions of God in our lives. We learn today of two great beings with two great sons, both of whom become heirs and fathers of many nations. Now, Abraham is not God, 
and Isaac is not Jesus. But we can see ourselves in Abraham and Isaac, father and son, a complete example of love and devotion. We too feel pressure of being tested. We know the weight of what it means to follow God and to follow Christ. We too learn the complete redemption and restoration of God's love for us and our world through Jesus. Amen. you have freed us from the slavery of sin and called us to be sons and daughters of God. Help us to work for the freedom of all who are captives and for the bringing in of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, who reigns with you. Amen. I will end each intercession with the words, Amen. Please respond, may the Lord do it. We pray for your church that it may be a holy church, a healthy church, a serving church. We remember Archbishop Melissa, our Minister Robin and his family, and the retired clergy in our congregation. May we reveal your love through our care for and acceptance of others. We pray for the work of the church among the poor and the oppressed, that in you we may come to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen. May the Lord do it. Guide the leaders of nations and communities into the way of peace and goodwill. We pray for those who strive to bring peace between various factions and for all who seek to bring unity and harmony to our world, that they may all be guided by your spirit. Amen. May the Lord do it. Lord, make our homes places of holiness and hospitality. In our dealings, fill us with grace and goodness. Make us welcoming and friendly. Amen. May the Lord do it. We remember before you all prisoners of conscience, all who are in prison through injustice and tyranny, And we pray for the work of Amnesty International and remember especially the two Michaels still detained in China. We pray for those who have lost their freedom through sickness and and especially those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. 
We pray for the world weary, the heavily burdened and the worn out. In our parish, we pray for Francis, Julia, Pippa, Emma and Julie. May they know in their hearts the glorious liberty of God. Amen. May the Lord do it. We give thanks for all who are now victorious, for all who have left behind the restrictions of this life and are walking before you as children of God. We especially pray for Peggy Rainbow and for Ruth Starr. May we, with them, know your abiding presence. Amen. May the Lord do it. And in closing, the round moon whispers why worry about these things? Reach beyond the momentary anxiety life brings to God who is rocking, rocking, rocking the world with her wide, warm and welcoming wings. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Let us pray. God of wisdom, receive all we offer you this day, enrich our lives with the gifts of your Spirit, that we may follow the way of our Lord Jesus Christ and serve one another in freedom. We ask this in his name. Amen. We'll use Eucharistic prayer at number two today. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. He is your living Word, through whom you have created all things. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh of the Virgin Mary and shared our human nature. He lived and died as one of us to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. In fulfillment of your will, he stretched out his hands in suffering to bring release to those who place their hope in you. And so he won for you a holy people. He chose to bear our griefs and sorrows and to give up his life on the cross, that he might shatter the chains of evil and death and banish the darkness of sin and despair. By his resurrection, he brings us into the light of your presence. Now with all creation, we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, accept our praise through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who in the night he was handed over to suffering and death, took bread and gave you thanks, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This is my blood, which is shed for you. When you do this, you do it in memory of me. Remembering, therefore, his death and resurrection, we offer you this bread and this cup, giving thanks you have made us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church, 
Gather into one all who share in these sacred mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit and confirming their faith in the truth, that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant, Jesus Christ. O glory and honor yours, Father and Son, with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. Now, as the Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. The gifts of God for us, the holy people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. God of power, we are nourished by the riches of your grace. Raise us to new life in your Son, Jesus Christ, and fit us for his eternal kingdom, that all the world may call him Lord. We ask this in his name. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord Jesus, who serves with wounded hands, teach you to serve others. May the Lord Jesus, who walks with wounded feet, walk with you to the end of your road. May the Lord Jesus, who loves with the wounded heart, be your love forever. Whenever you go out, may you see the face of Jesus in everyone you meet. May everyone see the face of Jesus in you. And blessing God of hope, the God of life, and the God of compassion, be with you and those for whom you care, this day and always. Amen. Go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.